Focus took us on an adventure and taught us the art of scamming back in 2015. You can admire them as long as you don't fall for the scam, right? So, are we in for another con? Any movie about con artists needs to be clever. It's what puts the art in con artist. Focus may exude all the confidence of a con artist, but it never actually earns any of it. Misdirection and deception are essential components of any successful con, but writers and directors Glenn Ficarra and John Requa are more interested in the distraction than the result. Focus is a delightful con story that is as glamorous and elaborate as any entry in the Ocean's Eleven franchise. It is like a bubbly glass of champagne. The majority of Focus deals with how love and deception can coexist while Nicky tries to fight his attraction to Jess. Nikki is a lifelong con man who picks up eager protege Jess after she unsuccessfully attempts to con him in New York. The two travel to New Orleans for the football championship, and while there, Nikki reveals to her his surprisingly big corporation, which consists of a group of con artists committing crimes throughout the city, ranging from petty larceny to identity theft. Nikki fears breaking his rule that there's no room for heart in this game when the two grifters start falling for one another. After a botched con job puts Jess Barrett face to face with one of the world's greatest thieves, Nikki Spurgeon, the small time pickpocket, is inducted into a well organized team of hustlers who pull off a $1 million score during the Super Bowl in New Orleans. However, Nikki suddenly removes Jess from the group, leaving her with nothing more than a share of the Super Bowl scores as their relationship starts to morph from a professional curiosity into a romantic connection. Three years later, Nikki is employed by international race car owner Garriga in Buenos Aires to trick his rivals into using an unproven fuel formula. Nikki learns that Jess is also in town, this time as Garriga's girlfriend, just as he is about to launch his biggest trick. With the money in hand, Nikki and Jess make an attempt to escape, but Garriga's men catch them and bring them to his garage. Nikki is beaten up, and they are both tied up. Gariga is curious as to how Nikki obtained the actual component and begins suffocating Jess to get him to talk. Before we proceed, we wanted to remind you that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already! <laughs> In order to save Jess, Nikki explains that he tricked Jess into thinking he had feelings for her and gave her a necklace that was outfitted with software that would allow Gariga's password and login information to be recorded. This way, Nikki was able to gain access to Gariga's computer systems. He informs Gariga that Jess was the victim of a con and was not involved. With no more lies to tell, Nikki promises to come clean in order to save Jess's life. But as soon as he begins to speak, Owens shoots him in the chest! Bucky drives Nikki and Jess to the hospital and drops them off. Bucky takes the money for himself and tells them it is the cost of losing focus on the job. While Jess helps Nikki into the hospital, he notices that she has Gariga's watch on her wrist, having stolen it in the warehouse. Almost eight years have passed since the release of the first movie, and I think it's time to ask the question, is Focus 2 going to happen? The film was released on February 27, 2015. It received mixed reviews from critics, but was a box office success, grossing $158 million worldwide on a $50 million budget. As we all know, nothing in Hollywood is ever guaranteed, especially when it comes to popular franchise films. Following the film's box office success, a potential sequel is now being considered. Focus grossed $6.4 million on its first day, $7.6 million on its second day, and $4.6 million on the third day in the first week of release, totaling $18.7 million on its opening weekend. The fact that we are in 2022, the year in which Bad Boys 4, I Am Legend 2, and Gemini Man 2 have all been announced is the best argument for another Focus film. Even though Smith and Robbie appear to have moved on from Focus, another film is still likely to be made due to the entertainment industry's recent love of late-in-life sequels and reboots. If a potential Focus 2 does happen, should we expect Will Smith and Margot Robbie to reprise their roles? Now, as far as everyone else, Will Smith and Margot Robbie make a good team and have good chemistry, but we are not sure if we are going to see them again soon. Since the spotlight of focus is primarily on the relationship between the two main characters, the majority of the supporting cast only has a small amount of time on screen. However, 
This doesn't stop Rodrigo Santoro, B.D. Wong, Gerald McRaney, and Adrian Martinez in particular from making the most of their opportunities to chew the scenery. While some characters are more layered than others, the assembled talent all get genuinely engaging moments in the spotlight. So, if Focus 2 does eventually happen somewhere in the future, we should expect to see these faces again. Smith plays Nikki, a veteran Sharpie with a skill for trickery and a newfound mentor to newbie grifter Jess in Focus. The two gradually become romantically involved, so Nikki does what he believes is best and breaks things off. A few years later, on the night that Nikki and his team are planning a risky con, Jess unexpectedly reappears in his life. And, well, everything goes terribly wrong. At least, that is how it seems. Nikki is seen in the end crying over the loss of the money, and Jess then shows the watch she had taken from Gariga to him. So, what can we predict from this? Since there are neither plot details nor any theories about a potential Focus 2, we can make some guesses. If a sequel happens, I think that it should revolve around Nikki and Jess after going back home. Sure, there's a possibility that Gariga would send his guys to find them and get revenge on both of them, and there's his watch as well. Let's imagine that the watch that Jess stole from him was a gift from a dear person to Gariga, someone who he deeply cared about. Or maybe it was a souvenir from an old con scheme. Anyways, if this is the case, he sure will be back for them. Now, Nikki and Jess are smart. Probably they will change names and maybe move to a different city to protect themselves. Even if they sold the watch, Gariga won't stop searching for them until he gets his revenge. It's Nikki's responsibility to protect Jess now that they are back together. Let's just hope that he does stick with her and won't trick her like that time in New Orleans. Another possibility would be to show a time jump where Nikki and Jess are married and planning a future together. A new house, maybe a kid, who knows? But since both of them are con artists without real jobs, are they going to continue with their scams in order to survive? Or would selling the watch be enough for them to start a brand new life somewhere else? Again, if that watch is so pricey, the chances that Gariga would seek them are high. However, as I was saying, if they plan to do another scam, they have to go big this time so they can live their lives in peace. But I can't say that it won't cost them something. If they do have a kid, I'm thinking maybe a kidnapping or blackmail to pay the price. There is no other option if that would turn out to be the case. Living a peaceful life would just be another boring family story, and we do not want that. So because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> Perhaps a time jump would take us to the future, where if they do have a kid, maybe the kid would become a con artist just like its parents, to continue what they started and make them both proud. See you in the next video!